Hey everyone, Max from Chris Cross FPV here. Welcome to my channel, and I am very exciting to introduce you the um, uh, this video because this video is actually the um, uh, result of my work of um, my past work within the last one year. Actually, most of you know that I am constantly looking and searching for for the ways to improve carbon fiber composites and actually carbon fiber and especially carbon fiber composite plates uh, to produce the parts for the FEV drones uh, that can be uh, that uh, could become very tough and robust and uh, breaks less uh, so we have more time to fly but you know and uh, get more satisfaction uh, from what we are actually doing so uh, here I have six arms, more or less same. Um, I mean, same uh, uh, pattern and the same design. Uh, these arms are uh, made for a cross five uh, frame. It is like ultra light frame, so you, you can see the the arms are very very tiny. So. Um, Okay, let, let's let's start. I will I will show you one by one what uh, arms are actually made from. The first one is a very common one. It's a regular uh, carbon fiber composite, um, carbon fiber plate. I can say composite plate. So as you can see, this one we have the uh, woven uh, plain, yeah, plain pattern uh, woven from the outside and the unidirectional in inside. Uh, with the uh, 0 to 90 degrees so you can see the layers are straight it's a uh, most uh, common I think 99% of the FPV drone frames are made from uh, this type of carbon fiber composite so the second one is uh, my first attempt to, to have some uh, isotropic, uh, isotropic um, properties within the carbon fiber composite plate so here, here I have, as you can see in the middle, we have some different, um, uh, different layers, and they are actually layered in the 45 degrees. So this one is made from the woven layers from outside and the unidirectional inside, but with um, uh, quasi, sorry, not iso, but quasi isotropic, uh, quasi isotropic um, proper with quasi isotropic, sorry. Uh, properties because we have here like a 0 90 and minus plus 45 degrees so three three ways actually they are, they are crossing the unit directional layers are crossing the three ways so the next thing I have tried to use the Kevlar because the Kevlar from on, on um, Kevlar and the carbon fiber uh, mix on the top layer because as you know from uh, my some of you of course uh, uh, from my videos that the Kevlar is uh, slightly tougher um, at the end the carbon fiber and um, the actually the old plates are starting to break uh, from outside layers so if we make the outside layers that was my actually thought uh, if we make uh, outside layers more tougher so we get more stronger like a part in general but we will see what what uh, what kind of uh, results during the strength uh, test it'll, it will deliver. The next one is just my try uh, of the new and hybrid, uh, uh, hybrid uh, forged carbon fiber composite. Uh, actually, it, it's just a chop it carbon fiber mixed with the epoxy resin and that's it. And put, in, uh, put on, uh, on the plate, you know, and just Press together, but really, I don't know what to expect from that, but we will see. Um, the next one, the next one is a, uh, one of the latest version. Uh, even though those four arms made from the four, uh, four millimeter tick, this arm is made from the five millimeter tick, but the regular. So I will show you. Uh, so here you can see this is the as well the unidirectional layers are inside this one is like um, uh, actually pre, pre, pre last version previous version or that is used within the cross pipe and the cube frames 
uh, I have stepped it to the 5 mm just to get more uh, more uh, strength within the uh, within the arms and uh, by my opinion this arm is works very well it's uh, very difficult to, to break um, I, I forgot to show you that the, um, the uh, smallest the smallest uh, size here is a nine nine millimeters so it's actually five times nine so it's 45 in square oh, okay the area area is um, 45 square millimeters so it's it's uh, quite on the edge so and the last one uh, this arm I have received just um, on the previous week and honestly I am expecting to have uh, most uh, most uh, I, I don't know some, some greatest results within the strength set because this is different this is made not only with woven layers not only outside but as well inside as you can see here all the uh, layers there uh, th there is no straight layers so they are slight, like a uh, mixed uh, to each other so woven layers are uh, of the carbon fiber fluff are just pressed together and in this case you have they are like uh, interwoven with each other why I did that and why I think this will be the extremely strong because the, as I already explained it in my previous videos, the uh, strength of the carbon fiber plates are coming from not only from the properties of the carbon fiber, but as well. And uh, so the first thing is the uh, quality of the production. Uh, it, I can say that I have found that within the same, ba uh, same uh, batch, you can find different uh, uh different arms i mean that uh, uh, that delivers different um strength properties the one will be uh, less stronger than another one just because it has some kind of defect within the within the um, raw material within the carbon fiber plate so the second thing that is important it's the quality of the epoxy resin but uh, as well, we can say that this is uh, this is comes from the uh, very close to the to the quality of the production. And in the result, we have uh, like a, by default we can get some kind of property that uh, it uh, I mean like the carbon fiber play becomes very strong. But this still we have one pro property that we cannot. Uh, overcome even using the good quality and the best materials I mean good production quality and the best materials this is the uh, property of the or actually the uh, of the carbon fiber plate itself and uh, it means that we have separated um, layers I mean like a, like a layered pie uh, glued together so it means that the most important thing is the how the layers are sticking to each other and I already showed in my previous videos in my shorties that the, the elimination of the carbon fiber plate is the biggest problem for and um, uh, is the biggest problem to, uh, to get the uh, strong and uh, robust um, carbon fiber parts actually uh, composite uh, carbon fiber composite parts sorry so okay uh, what we're gonna do now uh, I will test one by one each of these arms are uh, uh, on my rig on my test rigs yeah it uh, we uh, i will explain you how i'm doing that uh, should right now we are not uh, proving that some of uh, uh, some of this type is uh, more strong or whatever i'm just want to uh, show you some uh, uh, differences in general so you will understand and actually the numbers that we will get they are just showing the uh, uh, the, the differences in general they are not showing the actual uh, strength of each uh, the carbon fiber uh, plate or in, in our uh, particular uh, case uh, the strength of the arm because that as well you, you you should understand that every impact every impact and every crash is different so even though you have you can get the most strongest uh, 
uh, using most strongest carbon fiber composite uh, uh, and it still will break so okay the uh, I'm using very simple rig to understand uh, how uh, how strong or how um, uh, the part will um, act I mean during impact or can act actually could act during some general impact so I'm using the simple scales that are showing us the um, the weight and that can be easily tran tran translated as a, a force that the arm can withstand. So I just I'm just pushing the arm. So the first thing is the quality of the production. Uh, I can say that I have found that within the same, ba uh, same uh, batch you can find different uh, uh, different arms I mean that uh, the delivers different um, strength properties the one will be uh, less stronger than another one just because it has some kind of defect within the within the um, raw material within the carbon fiber plate so the second thing that is important it's the quality of the epoxy resin but uh, as well we can say that this is uh, this is comes from the uh, very close to the, to the quality of the production and in the result we have uh, like a, by default we can get some kind of property that uh, it, uh, I mean like a carbon fiber plate becomes very strong but this still we have one pro property that we cannot uh, overcome even using the good quality and the best materials I mean good production quality and the best materials this is the uh, property of the or actually the uh, of the carbon fiber plate itself and uh, it means that we have separated um, layers, I mean like a, like a layered pie uh, glued together. So it means that the most important thing is the, how the layers are sticking to each other. And I already showed in my previous videos in my shorties that the, the elimination of the carbon fiber plate is the biggest problem for and um, uh, is the biggest problem to, uh, to get the uh, uh, strong and uh, robust um, carbon fiber parts, actually uh, composite uh, carbon fiber composite parts. Sorry. So okay, uh, what we're gonna do now? Uh, I will test one by one each of these arms uh, uh, on my rig, on my test rigs. Yeah, it. Uh, we. Uh, I will explain you how I'm doing that. Uh, should right now we are not uh, proving that some of. Uh, uh, some of this type is uh, more uh, strong or whatever. I'm just want to uh, show you some uh, uh, differences in general, so you will understand. And actually, the numbers that we will get, they are just showing the uh, the, the differences in general. They are not showing the actual uh, strength of each uh, the carbon fiber. Uh, plate or in, in our uh, particular uh, case uh, the strength of the arm because that as well you, you you should understand that every impact every impact and every crash is different so even though you you can get the most strongest uh, uh, using most strongest carbon fiber composite uh, uh, and it still will break so okay the uh, I'm using very simple rig to understand uh, how uh, how strong or how um, uh, the part will um, act, I mean during impact or can act, actually could act during some general impact. So I'm using the simple scales that are showing us the, um, the weight and that can be easily tran tran translated as a, a force that the arm can withstand. So here we have some uh, wires that will hold uh, our frame, our tested frame, and after I just screw it in, the, uh, we will get some numbers on uh, on the weights. Uh, yeah, actually the force that is um, uh, the arm can withstand. 
So here is the first time um, ready to be tested. Uh, as you can see here, I have attached everything uh, with uh, some screws and whatever. So we will just pull it and the sensor that is uh, installed in will show us the actual force that is needed to start to break this arm. Okay, let's let's start it. Let's start and uh, tell us what, what we get. So, we have zeros let's start so as you can see the numbers are starting to rise so, and uh, the arms start to bend <laughs> They heard the little crack, so it means the carbon fiber starts to, to break. Yeah, the biggest number was around 18, so the arm called continued band. The number were dropped, it will now go over that number in the future. And as you can see, it, it bends more, more, and more. But anyway, the, the biggest number that we got here was around 18, um, 18 kilos. So it means that 180 newtons are required to, um, yeah, to break this, this particular arm. What do we have here? It looks like, no, the, uh, the, actually the arm we're in broke, yeah, we think so, but uh, we try to bend it one more, uh, one more time, you will see that actually the arm is start, has started to delaminate. Oh, you see? Okay. Um, I can tell you truly that uh, this particular arm is made from very uh, qualitative, it's T700 and uh, as you can see here it's uh, actually not delaminates like um, very easily yeah? and uh, I, I know that uh, some pilots even uh, uh, actually after, after some impacts they still uh, find their arms still very stiff but um, you have to understand that, the, um, as I said, if, it, if the arm is, is done very uh, qualitatively, the production was very qualitative, then you, you can hit uh, many times and the arm will just accumulate the uh, fatigueness during each impact. So in the end, uh, anyway, uh, with every impact, the arm becomes uh, less and less stronger. You have to understand that one. So let's see the next one. So this one, uh, as I, I would like to remind you, this one is, was made with like with the additional four layers uh, uh, that are layer it with the 40, minus 45 and 45 degrees to the other layers. So let's see how it performs. Sorry guys, I have missed this. I haven't turned it, it on, but anyway, the, uh, the numbers that I get with the, with the second arm is not bigger than the um, 11, 11 kilos. Instead of the first arm, we have uh, 18. So here is the, the actual maximum. As you see, this arm bends much uh, much more but still the maximum is uh, 11 I will try to break it completely okay yeah so it is much faster to release so one more time yeah you see the delimination Curse very hard delimination. So, but still, <laughs> yeah, 
45 degrees in yeah. <laughs> it bends a lot but doesn't break I want to show you yeah here you see it uh, 45 degrees in the middle yeah, the rest is 90 degrees or zero whatever. and 45 in the so it is delaminated this is the most common way how the arm where carbon fiber plates become broken so delamination okay let's start the third one and the interesting thing this is the, the Kevlar Kevlar on the top actually the mix of Kevlar and the carbon fiber on the top let's see how it performs I'm I'm ready for the third one here we have like a mix of the uh, Kevlar carbon fiber wind cloth on the top let's start our scales The first crack is actually it's um, uh, just the moment when we have uh, uh, some layers have been eliminated. Oh, now it's a hard crack. So it's uh, I can even see there is uh, some delamination is over there. But anyway, the 13. Yeah, they're cracking more and more and more and more. Okay, we can stop here. There is no reason to continue. I will try to break it. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah you see one more time the elimination and what happens here that the um, the top layer is, is as you can see it, it's broken slightly different yeah uh, it's completely delaminated yeah you see it, it, it's broken differently than the, the first two here we we cannot break the top layer uh, easier than here but the still the delamination inside is the first thing in the both cases only here we don't have this um, uh, I mean the top layer is not break uh, uh, doesn't break uh, so easily as with the carbon fiber and that's it that's the difference I will try to show you yeah you see I cannot break it oh right now yeah it breaks but still so the Kevlar is uh, tough but it gets uh, the properties are balanced one more time as I said in my previous videos or you get the rigid part or you get the strong part so you cannot get both in, in, in the, within the one package so I will arm the next arm <laughs> here I have installed uh, the uh, wise next arm this is uh, more interesting for me because I I got this type of the carbon fiber first time. This is forged carbon fiber. Actually, it's not forged. It just chopped it, uh, carbon fibers uh, are put in you know, within the epoxy and resin and just squished and uh, pressed together and that's it. You got it. I think I believe that this one will be the worst one because then it is it is more rigid. Just. I, I, I think so, but it's uh, it will not. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. It will not stay. Uh, it, it's not. It, it cannot be stronger because here's the ratio of the carbon fiber to the apex is much higher than you you have in the something in, in within the uh, this layer it uh, carbon fiber plates. But maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's start our weights. Uh, let's wait to zeros. So we have zeros. Let's start to screw in. Okay. Sorry. Okay. We have... Really, I'm. I would like to see some interesting numbers, but I don't believe it should be higher than ten or something. Let's see, maybe I'm wrong, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I 
here already some cracks yeah it's cracking it's cracking easily yeah it was highest number was like seven or something I'll tell you after exactly what number it is yeah I see it's cracking it's cracking it's here it's cracking you can see it I'll show you yeah it's cracking there is no way I can get more yeah it's like a butter sorry guys sorry dear as I said you cannot get this one from this type of carbon fiber the best result where it should be very precisely produced because the seriously it doesn't work like that it's like you can compare the OSB if you're uh, speaking about the plywood for instance you have the plywood and OSB let's put in the next one this is the five millimeter arm it will perform very well I am expecting here to see something around but who knows as I said the delamination is the worst problem and even though we can make the um, thicker plate we will get the um, more or less the same results here we have um, five millimeter unidirectional inside plane outside let's see how it performs I expect very good numbers higher than 20 kilos or 20 newtons let's see Same story here, same story here guys, this is the problem of the, um, the lamination, not a problem of the carbon fiber itself, because the carbon fiber can withstand, withstand much higher forces and much uh, bigger impacts. Here we have same story, I can tell you this was done, it, it's very qualitative and uh, seriously you can see it. The, um, uh, it's slightly uh, the carbon fiber on the top it's slightly uh, broken yeah but the uh, it still it still have a same problem like before and believe it or not it it was one of the most qualitative uh, uh, carbon fiber plates that I have got from the from my supplier but still there is no difference uh, with the four four millimeter tick, and honestly, I'm I'm surprised the two. But uh, my concerns about the delamination, the worst enemy to the uh, strength of the carbon fiber, uh, have been uh, confirmed. Have been confirmed. So delamination is the worst enemy. Okay. Um, let's see the the last one i hope uh, you know i never tested this before i hope we will get there some better result that we have with the, with the rest of the uh, with the arms let's see what happens this is the moment of truth uh, yeah we have here the uh, my latest um, try to achieve the most strongest uh, parts from made from the carbon fiber composite plates and I hope here we have uh, fight the uh, better than with uh, with the samples with the uh, unidirectional or unidirectional layer core and uh, let's see what happens yeah, it starts to burn. 29. Yeah, 29. Something. Yeah, 29. 40. 29. No? 30. Show me 30. No, no, I feel it. It's skipping. No, 
Uh, it's keeping no dirty. No, no, 29 with something. Yeah. Okay. I will not continue because it's already showing that it's almost 40% much higher. The strength is much higher, 40%. And seriously, I cannot see even the elimination there. We'll try to see it right now. Oi, sorry. Yeah, as I said, my camera will fall down soon because my rig is here. I have to wrench it harder. Okay, I will not continue that, but uh, you saw the numbers, 29. Oh, yo. No, I cannot break it. <laughs> sorry, guys. No way, no way. I, I needed to wrench it uh, in opposite side. Seriously, seriously, I, I can tell you, seriously, there is a... I cannot break it right now. I will try to break it completely. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's hard. It's really hard. You can believe me. Oh, yeah. oh I hear some cracking, but still... But still, no, when? Let's try right now. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, you see, no sign of the elimination. Completely, no sign. It breaks completely different. Completely differently. Oh, okay. Now the release. So, no elimination. Just slightly. As you can see, the layers were broken one by one. So it means here we get the uh, the strength. This results will get the strength of the carbon fiber actually, but not the bonding force between the carbon fiber and the uh, epoxy resin or the bonding force between the uh, different layers. This is how the uh, carbon fiber have to uh, have to break. And um, seriously, I'm, I'm excited because even with a five millimeter, the same, the same, completely same design and uh, uh, five uh, millimeter uh, arm, we didn't break the uh, carbon fiber, but the elimination, you see, was the, the reason of the, of the um, breakage. Here, we don't have the same, uh, same story. So I'm telling you guys, the woven carbon fiber, uh, I mean the woven uh, use of the um, woven carbon fiber layers within the uh, for um, uh, complete carbon fiber plate, I mean the full uh, woven carbon fiber plate is a must, is a must for very strong, uh, strong and uh, robust uh, uh, parts for the FPV drones. There is no other thing, really. Um, so they might, I think they uh, currently I will make the uh, to switch uh, to all of all my frames. Uh, I mean, the, I, I think the arms of, of my frames will be uh, for sure will be made from the full uh, woven layered carbon fiber composite uh, plates um, because really I, I don't see the reason there is a, such a big difference between the unidirectional and the full woven type so there is uh, uh, nothing to discuss seriously okay that's it for now thanks for watching stay tuned